for it. That's the only way it'll work. Other than that, like, you sit down somewhere and boom, you're done. It's over. You're just covered again. You vacuum, you turn around, and it's like you never even vacuumed. It's like, holy smokes. You just got three pets that shed like uh, like crazy, so um, it's a constant battle of fur. sweep up a small dog yeah pretty much it's basically what happens <laughs> barbara thank you very much i appreciate that much love um that's very generous of you thank you thank you um but what i was going to say was uh What's unfortunate for me is I tend to like wearing the darker clothes, um, you know, the dark blues or, you know, black, uh, dark gray, and uh, my dog's fur sticks out like a sore thumb uh, with, all, with pretty much all my clothes, so it's kind of, uh, kind of annoying, but, you know, we make do, we make it work. When is my birthday? My birthday is November 1st. Um, so I got quite a few months still until uh, I turn 22. I don't know what I'm going to do this year for my birthday, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay, guys. So, like, I've been trying to book, like, a cottage or an Airbnb um, in Muskoka from, for, like, two weekends from now, and it is fucking impossible, like, I've looked, and, like, there's very limited options, like, even, like, anywhere in Ontario right now for that weekend, and it's so unfortunate, like, we're just trying to get away, have a good weekend with the boys, you know, make some content, too, they're down to make some content, we were pumped, and we can't find anything, nothing, it's fucking and Muskoka would be great too. It's so nice in Muskoka. It's super unfortunate. Collingwood? Oh. I didn't think Collingwood. I could try that, but um I was looking online and I just looked at like, you know, like just a generalization pretty much of just like what was open for, you know, that weekend. And it came up with some uh, very, it came up with very few options. Um, I think there might have been like 10 places Ontario wide that they had available, which I know it can't be right. There's got to be more, but it's just a matter of uh, actually finding it. But yeah, I don't know. We're going to try and make something work. We want to get away. We want to do something. So we'll see. Uh, my buddies Justin Kuhn and Tanner Schinkel. Um, you know, I'm going to invite Garrett too, but he's got a crazy work schedule. I don't know if uh, if he's got an off or not, but, you know, I'm going to shoot him an invite. Uh, I'm shooting my buddy Ryan an invite. But for sure, it's going to be the three of us for sure, um, which, you know, we all went to high school together. Um, it's all all around good vibes um you know they're uh they're definitely still one of my closest friends so it'd be a good time no garrett's been working like crazy honestly like he's uh 
he finally got his job, as you guys know, as, like, the, uh, the youth worker, and, um, he was originally hired part-time, um, but he's got a boatload of shifts right now, so, um, and it bounces between day shifts and night shifts, so his sleeping schedule is all out of sorts, too, so, um, you know, he's still just trying to get into the swing of things for the most part. Airbnb in Crystal Beach was awesome. Hey, that's right. Uh, Crystal Beach isn't too far from me. I hit Crystal Beach up all the time. Good old CB. My high school was actually called Ridgeway Crystal Beach High School. Um, I was the last graduating class of the high school. Um, and it's currently for sale right now. But it was deemed a historical landmark, um, the original part of the school. So... They can't knock that part down. That will always be there, as far as I'm aware. Which is kind of cool to say that I was the last graduating class from it. Why did it close? Um... It closed because they were building a new high school that could hold a bigger population um, in Fort Erie. Um, and they were closing the one in Fort Erie as well and just going to combine the two. Um, and yeah, that's exactly what they did. And, uh, you know, it's a pretty great school. Um you know, they're doing some pretty good things there. It looks great. Uh, they got a brand new track and soccer field, which is uh, great for the kids there now. I definitely wish I had that um, in high school. But instead, we had, we still had a track, which uh, we were still pretty fortunate for because a lot of the schools in the area didn't have one at the time. So we were pretty lucky there to have the track to always train on. And then uh, our soccer field was kind of a like cow pasture it wasn't the greatest but it also wasn't the worst so but it definitely wasn't no uh turf field which they've which is what they've got now are high school sports big in canada um i'd say they're like decently big yeah um, but they're definitely not comparable to like uh, what you've got in the States there, that's for sure. Um, you've got your own level, that's for sure. We are not there, unfortunately. Yeah, there's the train. You got it. You were wondering where she was. There she is. I know I really wanted to go to school in the States for either uh, track or soccer and um, I had Lake Erie College um, out of Ohio looking at me and then uh, you know that I had that injury with my hamstring and uh, that was pretty much the end of that so such is life you know. Just to let you know, it's 9.51. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Ohio. Yeah, could have been in Ohio. Could have been. Yeah, I met that coach at the... Uh, I was actually at the University at Buffalo um, prospect camp. Um, and you know, they had a couple different coaches from, uh, around the States there as well. And, uh, that's really where, uh, I met him and then he reached out via email after the prospect camp and, uh, 
the weekend or two weekends after is when I uh, messed up my hamstring. So all in all, just super unfortunate timing. Super unfortunate. What's going on, Dallas? Oh, it's okay. Don't be sorry. You know, shit happens. Um, I moved on. You know, I still play it for fun. Um, it's still a great sport. Uh, I Don't get me wrong. I was super bummed out for a little while at the start there, but... You know, there's more to life. Exactly, always better opportunities ahead. No regrets. I'd actually love to coach a, coach a team. Um, I thought about it right before COVID happened. And then, uh, you know, that kind of kiboshed that. So, um, yeah, but coaching would definitely be pretty cool. Um, I'd love to start with, like, you know, maybe, like, U9s or U10s around that age. And, like, you know, just build them up and stay with them right till like, U18. Um, kind of something similar to what I had with my coaches. Uh, you know, you grow, grow a great bond with them and, uh, you know, you get to see them just develop through all that time. Uh, the ones that stick with it. Um, and yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I could definitely see that happening in the future for sure. Hey, who knows, maybe we'll uh, get that arranged for next season, uh, depending on where we're at um, in life. But, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Even if it's something that happens later on in life, you know, I wouldn't be too bothered by that either. Um, there's no rush. No rush. Donna, Mel, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Much love, guys. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it for all the, uh, the kind words. Thank you, thank you. I'm gonna tee up the next fly I see with this water bottle. There's so many, they gotta go. They gotta go. I need one of those like fly strips. But they're so ugly looking, so like, you know, you can't really have them in the main part of the house. But the back room, you could set one up back there. Front mudroom, you know, plop one in there. Boom. Bingo, bingo, bongo, problem solved. A fly swatter? I got a fly swatter somewhere. We used to have like one of those fr uh, fly zappers and like fuck those things actually give qu like quite a good shock like you'd think like it's you know just enough but like if you touch it and try and zap yourself i, I wouldn't recommend it it's uh, it's pretty strong it's a pretty good zap you'd be surprised and it's not a pleasant surprise They do disappear like I just even held up the water bottle and like no flies they've all fucked off they're gone I don't know what's up with that but if 
where's the twiz been i know i've actually been slacking with the twizzlers lately gotta get that going again i miss them what a great snack and it keeps my hands occupied i don't have to fidget and throw water bottles around and shit like or grab pillows like what am i doing i gotta keep my hands busy it's a good little snack too Apple cider vinegar. All right, we'll have to give that a shot. Thank you for the uh, suggestion. Thank you, thank you. I'm like an Italian. Interesting. I'm actually not Italian. For those who don't know, I'm French and Dutch. I got a bit of like, you know, British in me. A little bit. Tiny bit. But I'm... For the most part, I'm mainly Dutch. Um, yeah. I don't speak fluent French, no, I, um, I didn't really stick with it, uh, you know, past grade 10. Um, but I can put together, uh, sentences here and there, um, you know, I can pick out some words. Understand it kind of for the most part, but... Um, yeah, I don't really speak it fluently. And I'd actually never learned how to speak Dutch either. My grandparents never taught me that. Um, so I never learned how to speak Dutch. You know, I'd always, uh, I'd hear them speak it every now and then between each other and, uh, you know, some of the other family, but I never know what they're saying. Um, it's kind of the odd one out there. Me and my, uh, my sister Autumn. We were never, uh, we were never taught. I don't think any of my, uh, my other younger cousins were either. Um, the ones around my age, uh, you know, it's a pretty big family. Um, it's quite large. Um, I have quite a few cousins. Um, my dad was, uh, was one of five brothers. So, you know, they, uh, they definitely had a good size family. But yeah, my sister Autumn, she's 19, so uh, there's only a two-year age gap between me and her, and then uh, between Caitlin and I, there's an eight-year age gap, um, and she just turned 14, so... Let's go to Amsterdam for your birthday. I'd love to go to Amsterdam. Um, the buddy who I mentioned earlier, Tanner Schinkel, he did some backpacking through Europe. Um, I think his grade 12 year. Yeah, it would have been his grade 12 year. So my grade 11 year. Um, he did some backpacking around Europe and Amsterdam was one of the places that he, uh, he went to and uh, he loved it there. Um, he had a great time. I'd love it there. It looks great. <clears throat> You'd probably get into trouble. <laughs> Who knows? I might too. Um, I live with my one sister. Yeah, Caitlin. Oh, did you see that? That fucker had balls. He landed right on my face. Mm. But yeah, I live with my one sister, Caitlin. Um, Autumn lives with her mom out in uh, Niagara-on-the-Lake. Um, Autumn and I share the same dad, and Caitlin and I share the same mom. So yeah, I've got two half-sisters. Yeah, these flies are driving me nuts. I'm starting to tweak out. Like, I'm starting to just... Mm.
some chopstick, thank you. I could use some. Go watch what I tagged you. All right, I'll take a, I'll take a peek at it. I'll take a gander. I don't think I got it, but he disappeared, so. There's his friend. Oh, he's back. Hmm. I need a stress ball. That's what I need, a stress ball. Yeah. If you guys want to, uh, if there's anything, you know, you'd ever want to send me that you'd think, hey, you know, Alex might need one of these. Stress ball. I'd never say no to that, you know. I'll take one. No, I'm just joking, guys. I've got one somewhere. <gasps> I swear to God, I thought I just caught one midair right there in action. But he got out somehow. He slipped out. This is driving me nuts. I'm starting to go nuts. Why am I stressing? Because the amount of flies that are buzzing around my house and car and everything. Just everywhere, like bugs. Fuck! Fucking driving me nuts. Parker's over here, fucking... Oh my god. They are nuts, like they... Are driving me up the fucking wall. Fuck. Mabel. Mabes. I need one of my cats over here. Yeah, get my cat. I know, that's what I'm saying. I need my cat. She's laying under the damn table, not even doing a thing. Just being lazy. They don't even like, they're not even, they're, they're sick of it too. They're just as sick of it as I am. They're like, fuck this, I'm done. They've probably already killed like 50. They're like, I've put in my work. You guys keep letting them in the damn house. Turn the light out. I don't think it's the light. Like, I read somewhere online that I'm pretty sure it's, like, the oxygen or, like, the carbon. I don't know. There's something, like, you know, it's something to do with your breathing or... I don't know. But that's what attracts them, I guess. I could be wrong, though. Lord of the Flies. Oh, my God. We had to read that book in grade 12 English. I remember that. I think we ended up watching the movie too.
All right, guys. I think we're uh, we're gonna call her a night tonight. Um, I think I'm gonna go head her over to Garrett's. Uh, he's just getting home from uh, jujitsu, so you know, I told him I'd probably stop by tonight. And uh, the weather seems to have calmed down quite a bit, so I uh, should be good to go. Um, but yeah, as always, you know, thank you for uh, for coming. I appreciate it. And thank you for uh, for all the gifts and uh, the PayPal's and the kind words. You guys are great. And uh, yeah, we'll be back uh, tomorrow night. Um,